So here I am in Windows 8. It's a freshly installed version of the consumer preview that was released earlier this year. And I've also installed the Visual Studio 11 beta. So I'm gonna start off by firing that up. This will bring us back to the this will bring us back to the the desktop view that we were used to. And since I'm logged in with my live ID, it's going to say Philip everywhere. So I'm going to select general C-sharp settings here before it has finished setting up Visual Studio. So just a couple of cool new stuff in uh, Windows 8. You've got the, the advanced task manager. It will give you a lot more information about the disk usage and about the memory and the CPU and the network. And it's going to show us some history and, and how much each, each user is using. Also, the, the corners in Windows 8 is very important. So if we take the mouse up to the right corner, it's going to bring us a menu where we can do, for instance, a search, we can share something, we can go into the Metro Start menu, we can look at our devices, and we can go into the settings menu. And if we go down to the left corner or the upper left corner, it's going to give us a, st a start button for our Metro view here. And if we were to start, for instance, maps, and then go back to the metro start screen again and start solitaire and then if we go up to the to the left upper corner we can swap between between the different applications here so visual studio has has finished starting so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to start a new metro style application here so let's take a look at the different approaches we have here we can start a metro style application uh, by using c sharp we can do it by using db and we can use it by writing javascript and we can use c plus plus so this is something pretty cool here you can use c plus plus with saml and that's going to be full native code it's not going to be managed at all we're going to take a look at that later on but let's take a look at the, the things that we are most used to to the to the c-sharp application template here so i'm going to start by creating a grid application this is going to prepare the solution for us and give us some some example code and i just need to agree to the developer preview agreement here so now when I have a, a developer preview license which lets me create metro style applications I can just start this this on my local machine you see you can I can either run it in a simulator on the local machine or a remote machine let's first of all let's start it at the in the local machine So this brings brings us into the metro look again and this is the app sample application and if i go back to to metro here it's gonna be installed down here as application one so if i right click this i can uninstall it and i can unpin it from the start menu let's first look at what happens when we unpin it i can just just write application here and it's going to find my application. So I'm going to uninstall this. And then I'm going to go back to Visual Studio. Let's try and see what happens if we run this in the simulator. It's going to start up a tablet view for us, which is going to log us into a completely new Windows 8 machine here. 
this is the exact same machine that I'm running at now actually but it's in the simulation mode and then we have remote machine which I can display how that works now because I don't have a remote machine to run this on so let's take a look at the code we have here first of all there's the standard sample code for our application we can take a look at the the application sample file this is just going to point out to to which of all the, the files that's the first to be run then we can take a look at the there's a detail, detail page and there's a items page so even this is going to give us a pretty nice look at how this looks in towel view so I can zoom in here so this is going to look almost exactly like it did in the simulator and as you're used to by the in the SAML editor we can move stuff around here okay so this has been a quick quick preview of what what is to expect in in Windows 8 and in development in Windows 8 so stay tuned for more videos on Windows 8 and development